Today, we are checking out the Costello RT, otherwise known as the 1974 Lamborghini Countach, and we're also going to be retuning the Wagon 6x6, which is the 2013 Mercedes AMG G63 6x6. But yeah, let's move on to the upgrades. For the engine on the Costello RT, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades, and I also recommend you get a race chassis. For the suspension tune on the Costello RT, I recommend you pause the video, but if you're on screen for about five more seconds. For the gearbox on the Costello RT, I recommend you get a 7 speed, but yeah, let's move on to the tune for the Wagon 6x6. For the engine on the Wagon 6x6, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades, and I recommend you leave the chassis stock. For the suspension tune on the Wagon 6x6, I recommend you pause the video, but be on screen for about five more seconds. For the gearbox and the wagon 6x6, I recommend you get a 6 speed, but yeah, let's move on to the tests for the Costello RT. Alright guys, so here at Hurricane, just like I said, with the Costello RT, but yeah, we'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get a doable 1 minute 4.7 to a doable 1 minute 4.9 on Hurricane. But yeah, let's move on to the next test for the Costello RT, which is Speed Avenue. Alright guys, so here's Speed Avenue of the Costello RT, just like I said. And yeah, we'll see you guys in a second with the results. Alright guys, so looks like you can get a doable 59.4 to a doable 59.7 on Speed Avenue of the Costello RT. But yeah, let's move on to the final race, which is drag. Alright guys, so here at drag of the Costello RT, just like I said, and yo, yeah, we'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get a doable 12.2 to 12.4 on drag with the Costello RT, but I'd also like to say you can get a doable 12.1. But yeah, let's move on to the test for the Wagon 6x6, which is a trailer test. Alright guys, so here the trailer transport job, just like I said with the Wagon 6x6, but yeah, we'll see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, so we've done the trailer transport job for the wagon 6x6, but yeah, let's move on. Alright guys, so in Cloud and I's opinion, the Costello RT is overall an okay car. The top speed is decent-ish, but a tad slow. The acceleration is okay, but it's a bit on the slow side. And the brakes are good, and the handling is decent-ish, but the car overall is smooth and easy to drive. Overall, this car's only worth getting if you want an old classic supercar 
lot added to your collection since there are multiple better options in terms of previous weeklies and dealership cars that will beat this car in a race. And in Cloud Nye's opinion, the Wagon 6x6 is rather decent for trailer jobs, the top speed for trailer jobs is decent, the acceleration for trailer jobs is decent, the brakes for trailer jobs are overall decent but they're a bit long, and the handling for trailer jobs is decent and surprisingly this car has a decent amount of grip when towing a trailer. And for the weight of the trailer jobs, it's pretty decent and the car itself doesn't spin out frequently. Overall this is a car only worth getting if you're looking for something that stands out among other trailer job cars like the Viscount or Odin 6x6 and the Mega Mamba. But overall you should buy those other options instead of this car since this car is too expensive to obtain and gives worse performance which makes this car more of a collection car. So yeah you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think but other than that huge shout out to Cloud for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.